think of prairie dogs, they think of black-tailed prairie dogs. These are commonly found in the grasslands of central United States. Utah prairie dogs have white tip tails and are only found in southern Utah. Utah prairie dogs like to live in easily tillable soil so that they can make extensive burrow systems for their colony. Unfortunately, humans like tillable soils too. This is for growing alfalfa, wheat, and other crops. Historically, Utah prairie dogs were shot or poisoned to remove them from good farming areas. All this shooting and poisoning did the job. By the 1960s, U.S. scientists realized that without protection, the Utah prairie dog would go extinct. It was one of the first species to be put on the endangered species list when the Endangered Species Act was created. Currently, it is listed as threatened. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources work hand-in-hand -hand to manage Utah prairie dog populations. This involves many cooperations including city and county managers, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Bureau of Land Management, and many others. The, the primary way that managers protect prairie dogs is by removing them from private lands where they are creating a problem and relocating them to federal lands where they can be protected. Part of the relocation involves dusting prairie dogs with insecticide to reduce fleas. Fleas carry sylvatic plague, one of the leading causes of mortality among prairie dog colonies. To aid in recovery and increase the number of prairie dogs on private lands, private landowners can enroll their lands with Utah prairie dogs into a habitat conservation plan. Once a conservation plan is in place, these private lands can be counted toward the recovery goal set forth in the Utah prairie dog recovery plan. Several counties, including Iron and Garfield counties, have habitat conservation plans that outline conservation measures for Utah prairie dogs and provide for ways to mitigate necessary take of Utah prairie dog from private land. Currently, approximately 1,300 acres of occupied habitat are protected for Utah prairie dog through habitat conservation plans. Additionally, the Nature Conservancy purchased 800 acres of Utah prairie dog habitat and enrolled these lands into a conservation easement. The Habitat Credit Exchange, overseen by the Panorama Land Resource Conservation and Development Program, provided a way for private landowners with more than 40 acres of land and at least 20 prairie dogs to enroll their lands into a habitat conservation easement. These easements, because they are contractually protected Utah prairie dogs, could then be counted toward the Utah prairie dog recovery goal. Landscapes are ever-changing. Lands that are grasslands and suitable for Utah prairie dogs naturally grow into shrublands without disturbance. In southern Utah, Managers limit natural disturbances as a way to control cheatgrass, a noxious weed that is not good for most wildlife. Therefore, without management action, suitable lands for Utah prairie dogs continue to convert to shrublands. Each year, management agencies such as the Bureau of Land Management, the U.S. Forest Service, and Iron County and Garfield County actively disturb converted areas in a way that minimizes cheatgrass spreading across the landscape. These actions aid in maintaining Utah prairie dog colonies and providing new areas for Utah prairie dogs to disperse into. Maintaining and creating new potential habitat maintains the health of sagebrush grasslands and helps other species too.